Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound session. Today we are taking a look at Syntronics J60 instrument. Oh yes, uh, so I think I've done nearly all the instruments now, so I might have to start again. Uh, so this is based on a uh, Juno 6, uh, I think. Is it Juno 6? Something like that? Or the, oh, it's based on one of them. Anyway, is it Juno 16? Do you know? God, do you know, I can't remember. Anyway. It's it's very very cool. Um, you also as well. I just want to quickly show you uh, something else that I, I I I continually forget to mention with the Syntronic stuff is and tap MIDI down here. You have uh, MIDI lane. When you start MIDI lane, you you tap a parameter and then you move one on your MIDI controller. There you go. And I had I or, or I also mapped the uh, the resonance as well. Earlier, anyway, but that's that's neither here nor there. You know, I just wanted to show you that you can you can do MIDI lane with Syntronic as well. Okay, so let's shut up and blast through a few of these very cool retro sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
kid. <laughs> there it goes. Awesome. Oh, well. But I don't know what I'm doing now. Scratch CD in the car. So anyway, as a thing as well, also, um, Syntronic, as most of you will uh, know, is also uh, an AUV3 as well, which which is great because it means you can have multiples as long as your DSP landlord. And also it's limited as well, AUV3, don't forget, by Apple. They set a certain amount of megabytes uh, uh, loadable for an AUV3. A, for multiple AUVTs, I think it's something like 350 mega, I'm not 100% sure. But yes, uh, Syntronic is, it's down here somewhere, um, there it is, is an AUV3, and you'll see the DSP here will go, that's gone to, what, 8, 8%, so let us find the, um, the instrument we were playing with, what's it, the J60, there we go, J60. And we can go down, we were down here somewhere, weren't we? I don't know. Um, but we can try, oh, look, some sick tape strings. Also, I, what I must do is root it to my oxygen. There's a couple of ways you can do that. You can do that there, or you can do it here. See, we have it now. And we can also, I'm not sure how the full screen works. Oh, there you go. You can expand your AUV3 screens these days and you can you know, move them around. it, Or you can shrink them really small so you could have a few of them open. But it's nice now because we can sort of really easily... Thin flanging sweep. Now, my, I don't think, no, my, my midi lane won't have remembered for the AU version because it'd be slightly different. Let me just have a swig of coffee. Okay, so. <clears throat> with something like that sound, which is, which is really, really retro and old, you could, you could, then again, you could start to apply effects to it. So, for instance, we could, I don't we could, anything you like other than all the cool effects you get inside Syntronic. You could say apply uh, something that you wouldn't get inside Syntronic, say audio unit extensions. Uh, let's apply something like um, something something very suitable for uh, this particular thing. Uh, a, lo a, lo a low fly date, which will start straight away as soon as I. Dial in the right mode. So mode zero four here is the vinyl effect. Okay, so. And we can dial up that effect. that so right hang on a minute stop that a sec 
So uh, there you go, guys. There is a, a, a decent look at some of the actual uh, sounds you get inside. I mean, there's loads and loads and loads and loads of them. There's loads of basses and stuff. Which are juicily analog um, sounding. And this was sampled from, a, you know, the instrument, so... Lovely and degraded, lovely. Which will again be down to um, probably some of the um, where are we? The effects, sorry, effects, effects that are you <laughs> close that. Some of the effects that are used. wanted to clean it up a little bit awesome awesome top job uh, i hope you guys really enjoyed this if you did please like the video subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patron there'll be links in the description for syntronic you can try syntronic completely free anyway the, the link will be you'll just download the free version you get a couple of instruments to have a mess around with um you get like a yeah you get instruments and you get a couple of presets to mess around with these instruments but you do get all these all these effects i mean and there are a lot of effects that you can you can play with you know so um yeah all available inside syntronic and the effects and the ones you get are completely free and you're allowed to save your own patches with syntronic you also get multis so you know you've got default multis or you could do this and it will change to But look, keep an eye on your DSP. Look, it's gone up. You're using more instruments now. It's going to go up a bit. So anyway, there you go. Awesome. Nice long tail on that one. Um, if you would like, like I said, um, yeah, if you like it, there'll be links in the description. Top job, guys, and I will see you later.